I've been talking to a guru and I need to issue a health warning. What he told me might just make you choke on your cornflakes. Last week, I mentioned my visit to a seminar in Cleveland, Ohio. One of the delegates was America's leading economic forecaster, Harry Dent, who I'm hoping to persuade to do an interview for Renegade Investor TV viewers. Watch this space. But in advance of a more in-depth session with the man himself, let me share some of his very strong opinions about where the Western economy is headed. But I have to issue a health warning, it's not easy listening. Most of Harry's work is based on the analysis of long-term demographic trends. A recurring theme in his reports and books is that people do predictable things as they get older. For example, we reach our peak earning and spending power around the age of 47. After that, I'm afraid it's downhill all the way. When you get an unusual demographic trend, it can have a huge impact on the overall economy. One such was the population boom after World War II, referred to as the baby boomers. The first boomers turned 65 in 2011, so they're now heading into their 70s. Harry contends that as they retire and scale back their spending, this is likely to depress economic growth and cause deflation over the next decade. One of the features of his demographic analysis is his ability to take a long-term view. He sees trends over a cycle as long as 80 years, challenging to take on board in an era when yesterday's tweets are regarded as ancient history. He names the four stages of this cycle after the seasons, and unfortunately predicts that we're heading into winter, a season of debt deleveraging, deflation, and falling asset prices. It's a time for the survival of the fittest, so he urges business owners to focus, get rid of unproductive assets and people, and delay capital expenditure. He urges keeping plenty of cash available to snap up bargain assets of all kinds at fire sale prices, including residential real estate, which he thinks will drop by 30%. The generation that should be breathing life back into the property market is in no financial position to help. One of the reasons why I'm majoring on commercial properties such as dementia care homes, where the value is determined by the yield rather by the fads and fashions of the residential market. Harry predicts that unemployment will reach 15% with an obvious impact on consumer spending. And he thinks the Eurozone will crumble. There's been much talk and little action from Mario Draghi though the smart money seems to be on quantitative easing across Europe before we're much older. On the positive side, the big growth engines that he sees for the next decade are alternative energy, biotech, robotics, and nanotechnologies. But you need to get through winter before you can see the payback from these emerging sectors. Most of all, Harry urges us not to let the majority dumb money sway us into the wrong positions. He says you need an iron stomach to take a contrarian approach, even if it's backed by intelligent research. It reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from Earl Nightingale, the majority is always wrong. So if you think you can ignore these major demographic trends over the next decade, you'd better be careful out there. I think Cleveland might be America's equivalent of Stoke-on-Trent. Even the pigeons fly upside down because it's not worth crapping on.